Are you tired of working way too hard in your business? Are you tired of not having time because you're constantly working your business? Is your business starting to feel like a job? Well, listen, I'm gonna share with you some gems and some tips to be able to give you the freedom that you want in your business. Listen guys, the number one reason why people aren't able to scale up and grow their business is because they are constantly, constantly working in their business instead of on their business. What do I mean by that? It's like there's no structure, there's no system, or there's no team, and they're doing everything on their own. The reason why people become entrepreneurs, business owners, right, is because they, they wanted something different from the traditional nine to five. They typically want to work on their own terms, you know, pretty much create something for themselves, and they don't necessarily want to actually work, like own a job when it comes to their business. They want to actually enjoy the business and actually have time to do the things that they want and spend time with their family and travel the world and just, you know, experience things, right? So here's some six things that you can apply to your business today, today. And this can help you go from a solopreneur to a true business owner. So that way you can work on your business and not always in your business and you can have freedom, right? Here's number one, y'all. This is really important. You need to learn how to outsource and delegate. Instead of doing everything yourself, write down all the steps and processes for your business to run and find other people to fulfill those roles. And I get it, for I know for a lot of people that are solopreneurs, they may feel like, well, maybe they've never hired people before, so in their mind, they feel like hiring people could be like really expensive. And it really doesn't have to be, especially in the very beginning, you can hire virtual assistants, right? People in the Philippines for like $5 an hour. And trust me when I tell you this, that $5 an hour will be very valuable to them, especially the way how their economy is set up. Right, but that's just one example. And you can hire a virtual assistant from like onlinejobs.ph, right, or maybe Upwork. But either way, guys, you can hire people to do these small tasks within your business, a lot of the admin stuff and emails and things of that nature. And I remember going to a conference and the speaker on stage that was very successful, she was asking, how many of you guys want to take your business to the next level? And she said, well, listen, you need to stop doing minimum wage activity. And when she said that, that helped me really understand I need to outsource quicker. Number two, you need to hire leaders and independent thinkers. What do I mean by that? See, if you're only hiring followers, people that only do something unless you tell them, well, guess what? That's gonna slow you down because they're not gonna do anything until you give them the A-OK -okay or the green light. But you want people that can actually learn from you, understand how your business runs, and as time goes on, they can eventually make decisions on their own effectively, right? And they're not always asking you for every small thing, right? You need people like that. Those are the people that's gonna help you grow your business so much faster. Those are the people that's gonna bring ideas and things to the table and take you things to the next level, right? Here's the third thing. You need to learn how to document the process and record the different you know, processes when it comes to your business. Because what that's gonna do is, it's gonna make your life so much easier. Because whenever you onboard and hire people, you already have things documented. You already have videos, you may have a manual, you can do a manual, you can write step by step what each role is within your business and what you know are the necessary actions that it takes to fulfill those roles, right? These are things that make outsourcing and delegating really simple, right? Here's number four. You need to change expectation to appreciation because guess what? We're all different. We're all different. People are different. People have different backgrounds, personalities, thought processes, the ways of doing things. And what happens is we tend to have expectations of people on how you know we believe they should do something and they may not necessarily always live up to that expectation. And what happens is that creates issues, right? And it's also gonna create a disconnect between you and say an employee. So if you appreciate more, instead of just having these very you know, high expectations all the time, it will create so much a better, you know, relationship between you and your people. And number five, guys, you have to understand that your people are gonna make mistakes and they're gonna fail. So you need to learn to accept that because no one's perfect. 
And matter of fact, the fastest way to master anything in life, especially in business, is to make mistakes. There's a book called Failing Forward, and there's a reason why, because you gotta fail to master. Be okay with your people doing that, right? And the thing is, it's gonna allow you to be stress-free and not have to worry so much. It's a part of leadership, watching people fail so that way they can become stronger individuals and for them to become leaders, right? So guys, these are really, really simple things that you can apply, and I'm not gonna forget number six. Subscribe to my channel, right? Because I'm gonna be constantly jumping on here, sharing gems, right? On how to help you take your life and also your business to a whole nother level. And let me know in the comments what your favorite tip was. And let me know also if you can actually execute and apply these things, because I already know it's gonna make a difference in your life and your business. I'll see you guys in the next one.